Hang in there, team. I'll get us out of this, I promise. Just deal. Is this the, the guy or the tick chick talking? I don't know. To steal our research, I can't understand that, but how can they hate us this much to abandon us to our death on this frozen planet? <clears throat> this is not hate. Xeno Lifer did this for the sake of the mission. <laughs> Fuck the challenge. This is probably going to be challenging enough. Um, if they hated us, they would have executed us. <clears throat> oh, and then we got this creepy guy back here talking. Oh, I see. Is this your concept of mercy, Burden? This looks far worse than a shot in the back of the head to me. We are alive, aren't we? I can get you out of this. Here, I can get you out of here. Liam knows that. Xenolifer aren't assassins. They're freedom fighters. In the end, their objective is to free all intelligent alien life from its slavery. Oop, I just double clicked. God damn it. I hope the Stellar Confeder I hope the Stellar Federation crushes them once and for all. I think it is the chick talking. I respect their cause, but I definitely disagree with their methods. Nothing good can be achieved through terrorism. Oh, come on. Yeah, I plug in my phone to start charging it, and it's just freaking out. Yeah, this game does not seem to be optimized very well. It's pretty so far. But yeah. <clears throat> I think that might be what's slaughtering my frames here. Because I, I have dropped pff, several hundred frames so far. Anyways. Terrorism is just a big word, or just a word used by big nations to define small opposing forces. What? No. The way the Stellar Federation obliterated its enemies and enslaved the defeated aliens is far more terrifying to me. That's also a form of terrorism, but whatever. But I disagree with the violent methods of Xenolifer 2. Oh, Doctor! Oh, that's a D! Okay, Doctor. That's why I joined the Everdusk Company, for the universal knowledge. The e- <laughs> The e -cucks neutrality and respect for justice, science, and truth over all things is something I can respect. Without any political or religious agendas to justify their actions, just common sense. Yes, it's great to know the Everdusk keeps getting us into trouble. I love them. Uh, Jack, you're, you're fucking weird. Sorry. I'm just really angry. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> Fucking Xenolifer. Fuck them. Chapter 1. Self-Justified Sacrifices. One year ago. Yeah, the Ecox. You chose the wrong- Ooh, we got company. Oh, that's Jack! That's the creepy guy! The hacking system is ready. Liam, the hostages are secured. Please, don't hurt my crew. We don't have any access codes. Good work, guys. Oh, okay. I guess we're in the game now. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have a minute may I have your attention for a minute. The sea this siege is an act of Xenolifer, which is the, the terrorist people we were just talking about. You are being held as our guests while we retrieve your outstanding research data on the Medusa virus. Seriously, good job analyzing that little bitch. The revolution will greatly benefit from your contribution to the scientific community. <clears throat> what is making the stream lag? Yeah, I haven't dropped any more frames so far. Mm, it's kind of poopy. Anywho, the revolution will... <clears throat> I should probably make this guy sound more like a, like a Russian terrorist, because that's what it looks like he is. Just some, like, pale blonde boy. The revolution will benefit greatly from your contribution to the scientific community. Now, let my friends do their work, and I will promise nothing will happen to you. Jack, do not let those damn guards get near us. We got him, boss. Shaman. 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 Keep the, the network stable while I hack into their database. 
I'm looking forward to seeing the power of your improved hacked boost tool firsthand. They won't see me come. And you, Abraham. You are in charge while I'm plugged into this thing. Mind the hostages. Do not let them get so comfortable that they think they can save themselves. Ignore them for too long though, and you'll have a revolt on your hands. Don't scare them to the point of trying suicide escape either. While I am plugged in, I'm counting on you to lead the team in their tasks. Aid Jack with his negotiations while keeping an eye on the shaman's work and the network status. Basically, keep the situation under control while the until my hacking reaches 100% and then our mission will be complete. My pleasure. And Abraham, do not hesitate to ask us anything that won't take much time. Zeno Lifer, let's do this. Oh shit, that rip away! <clears throat> Alright, so is that it? Are we in? Okay, we're in. Now, this much of the game, this is basically all that I've really seen so far. Like, way over here, we got those guards that we had at the beginning that you just saw pan in. That they're trying to break into this room, right? And then, back over this way, we have what's called the break room. Which, if any of the hostages start to freak out a lot, we can send them over here and they'll calm down super quick in here. And other than that, like that guy was saying, I basically need to keep these hostages calm. And keep them from uh, revolting or trying to kill me while setting up the, the hack boost, while keeping the security up, and while keeping the guards back. So it's basically like uh, a balancing act so far. Uh, negotiate. Don't you take another step or people will start dying here. <laughs> okay, take it easy. We're holding our position. Oh, okay. Awesome, that's a view of the, the guards corridor up there. Whoa, my cursor disappears over the camera. Uh, anyway, yeah, that, that's a view of the, the corridor up there with the, the guards. Yeah, like you can see, uh, time, a little bit of time has passed, like the security has gone down here. There's an old saying, kill one to one hundred. Don't worry, these security guards are no challenge for me. Remember, we aren't terrorists here. Keep the casualties to minimum. Can I talk to these guys? Charge up the hack boost here. Oh, holy shit. Charging up. Remember, the hack boost is a risky maneuver. We should unleash it only when our odds of success are high enough. Okay. Charge again. Uh, reinforce security. Yeah, like you can see the hostages are starting to freak out here, how they're starting to like rock back and forth. Let's talk to him, calm him down a bit. Please don't hurt my crew, we don't have any access codes. See, but now the problem is, is now these two are starting to calm down a little too much. Oh yeah, you see that? On oh, the guards move too. Charging up. Oh, yeah, he already said that. So we can do a boost, but these guys are super calm. We got the guards advancing. Uh. Okay. Shooting at the guards freaks out the hostages, of course. Uh. Should probably boost the security before we do the, the hack here. Okay, this guy needs to go to the break room. He needs to calm down. Right, let's try the hack boost now. 
initiating hack proof sequence. Are you ready, Lil? Go for it. Stabilizing network. Ah. <clears throat> Stabilizing network paths. Open the synaptic drivers. Hack booth ready for launch. Begin countdown. Three, two, one. Execute. That was awesome. Oh, hey, that was awesome. I can shoot at the hostages? I don't want to kill any of the hostages, though. Oh, I got one over here. Look at this guy. He's like... How pathetic does that look? Why would I want to shoot him? Why would you even- oh, why would you shoot the hostages? Um, I think it's because, like, you see this guy over here, like how he's super calm and laid back. If he gets too laid back, he'll try to kill me and, like, take over the hostage situ situation here. Oh, we got the guards advancing again. Um, negotiate. Oh, yeah, you see that? Look at it. He's distracted. <clears throat> Don't you take another step or people will start dying in here. Okay, take it easy. We're holding our position. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I can kick him, too? Let's kick him. Oh, <laughs> a little bit of blood going out of his nose. Damn, that was a, that was a pretty good kick. Right, let's check up on this guy. Oh, he's starting to chill out too much. Yeah, get back here. Stay on vacation. Uh, Security is actually super low. Let's reinforce that. I think we need to send him to the break room now. I, I just need to. Alright, and then I think we're good for charge. Ah, the cards are advancing again. So, let's shoot them back. Nobody's gonna die in here, you just need to like, stop freaking out. Security's getting low, so I probably need to do that next. Let's check up on this guy. Okay, he's still... He's still wigging out a little bit, so that's fine. He's just trying... Oh, who said that? Was that the chick? It has to be the chick. Right, let's, go, let's go teach her what for. Come on. Bitch, you want to start something? You want some fight? That's what I thought. Shut the fuck up. How's this guy doing? He's doing alright? I don't know. Let's have him get back. Uh, I think we can do another boost here. A charge. Oh my god, the guards are advancing. This guy wants to get on me. Security is starting to drop low. Uh, everybody else is actually pretty calm here. So I think I just need to kick this guy again. gonna have the guards come forward. Uh, shit. Alright, I think... I think we're gonna have the guards advance a little bit more. Because they only seem to be going a little bit at a time. Oh, hey. I could talk to them. Surrender or die. Yeah, no. I, I don't want to do either of those. So let's... Reinforce security. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it looks like we might be able to get like one more advance even out of the guards here. This poor dude. What? The poor guy that I keep kicking in the face? <laughs> He's alright. He's fine. I'll walk it off. Alright, let's shoot them back. Okay, that's fine. Okay, everybody except for the asshole here is starting to wig out a little bit of the peoples, but that, that's okay. Uh, let's negotiate. Stop them from coming forward. I'm assuming, because it says don't take another step forward. And then, charge. Oh yeah, this punk over here is starting to calm down too much again. 
security is starting to also get low, and I don't want this hostage to freak out. So let's send him to the break room, right? Boost up security, and then probably have to kick this guy in the face. Uh-huh. Yeah. But how kind of a hero does this guy think he is? He's in a hostage situation here. Like, we've got two people strapped with guns. And I've kicked him in the face three times and he's still trying shit. Like, come on, man. Sit the fuck down. Okay, so we got the boost fully charged. Security's decently high. How's uh, my hostage doing over here? <clears throat> oh, can you guys even see that hostage? Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, look at him. He's like, he's like taking a nap. Get over here. He was actually probably just about to like bum rush me from that room. Because he looked pretty fucking chill. Oh no, he's not! Okay. So there's, there, there's a more chill state than this. What the hell? Does he like fall asleep? He's a true hero, right? Never give up. Let's reinforce the security. Oh shit, the guards! Look at the guards. Uh, yeah, we gotta get the guards back, because I, I don't think the next boost will, will be enough to finish the hack. <clears throat> we can get this boost here. Go through the whole sequence, yada yada yada. Countdown, execute, boom! Oh yeah, there we go, we're super close now. Okay, let's negotiate, keep the guards back. Oh, this poor girl's getting ready. She's like crying. Uh, she can go to the break room. Oh! Okay, yeah, they were saying, yes, let's get out of here. Because we, we finished the charge, I didn't even notice that. Finish the hack. First try. Urgh. You'll never leave this place alive. Oh shit. We got flashbanged. CS go guys. Abraham. Jack. Oh look, uh Shaman. Shaman's over here, he's getting away. Drop your weapons. Leo! Get away! Lead the revolution! Viva Lo Oh shit. Where the fuck did this guy's head <laughs> come from? Uh, don't worry about us. We've been through worse. I won't let you die here, I promise. Whatever, just go! Beat chapter 1 in easy difficulty. Alternate soundtrack. Awesome, I got an achievement called We're Not Terrorists. Keep all the hostages alive. Cool. Whoa! Oh, okay. So I was with the majority here, where nobody freed any hostages. Wow, a lot of people actually killed the hostage. My attitude has been soft. You could be worse? I didn't have a fight with Jack. Zero people tried to escape? Okay. I didn't trade. I don't get what- Oh, okay. So I had the guards retreat 52% of the time. I had 27% network instability, I guess. And 19% medicine? I guess you could have traded for more medicine. That's probably for, like, beating up the hostages too much. That's probably why that guy was getting so heroic, was because I was beating on him so hard. Chapter 2. 20 Days of Empty Words. The Matriarch. Xenolifer's Mothership. Three days before the space lab hijacking. Okay, so this is... So now we're a year and three days before the opening scene there. And this is just before we had that that scene where we were hacking in. This is Sergeant Burton. Oh, this is the, the guy from the beginning. This is Sergeant Burning communicating from the Xenolifer's Matriarch battleship. Requesting an, enc an encrypted Type 6 comm relay to the Everdust Company for the universal knowledge. Initiate secure channel 6. Sergeant, it's been three months since your last transmission. 
the mission protocol dictates at least a report every two weeks. It wasn't my choice, sir. There's been a lot of activity in Xenolifer recently. Sergeant, our intel indicates that Medusa virus has fallen into the hands of Xenolifer. What's happened? Oh, okay, did I misread that? Is this three days after the hack? Okay, no, 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 it's not. It hasn't yet. Calm down. Liam is planning to assault one of the Holistic Empire's space labs. The plan is to steal their research data about the Medusa virus. That is unacceptable. That, that is unacceptable, Burton. Oh, his name's Burton. That's right. That is unacceptable, Burton. Xenolifer must not gain access to the Medusa virus. They've gone too far this time. Sergeant, these are your new orders. Eliminate Liam. For... Eliminate Liam Fernix Gow and sabotage his plans. Sir, killing Xenolifer's leader isn't the solution. Oh yeah, I totally agree with that. And just make him a fucking martyr. The course, the course of action will bro blow up a three-year operation. Jack and I have worked too hard to earn Liam's trust. With a few months, we could achieve... Oh, Jack is the, the creepy guy from the beginning. Alright. That comm looks like an Illuminati symbol. <laughs> yeah, it does. Look at that. I wonder if that's intentional. Because they are the Everdust community for universal knowledge or some shit like that. Sounds very Illuminati. Then a few months we could achieve the peaceful end to the Xenor Lifer organization. Have you lost your mind, Sergeant? Or, sorry, have you lost your mind, Sergeant? We could never allow a terrorist organization access to a weapon of mass destruction. Xenor Lifer aren't terrorist bullshit. They have ideals of revolution. Yeah. And Leo. Oh shit, there's people back here. Up in the, the vents, I just noticed that. Yeah, they, they have ideals of revolution, but Liam isn't genius, uh, genocidal. I know him, sir. Keep talking like that, and it sounds like we'll consider your loyalty compromised, Sergeant. Xenolifer is the enemy and must be neutralized by any means necessary. We need more time. They always need more time. Sergeant, I give you 24 hours. Listen to me. I'll take responsibility for whatever action Xenolifer carries out with the Medusa virus. If the time comes, my hand won't hesitate to put a bullet in Liam's head. But killing Fer... Fer... <laughs> Ferong? Ferongs? It's Gal. God, his name is... His last name is so terrible. But killing Liam will only unleash a war, which will cost Everdust lives, resources, and lives. Trust me, I have this under control. Ooh! Okay, I guess I don't have this under control. Shower time! Sorry, did I wake you? Oh, hold on. It's like Johnny Bravo here. Sorry, did I wake you? What's up? You look confused. Let me introduce ourselves. My name is Irving, and the big boy over there with the funny helmet is Alexander. He doesn't speak much, but he's a good fella. That is, unless you piss him off. But that ain't gonna happen, am I right? Cut the crap. What do you want? <clears throat> relax, relax. You don't want to push things here. Trust me. My boss wants to know about you. The usual drill. Age, sex, location. Oh, and he also wants to know what the fuck you were doing in our lab. So anyways, first question. Who's your boss? Okay, the music's actually super loud here. Uh, I think that's good. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I can provoke him. I can beg him. I can think. I can lie. Or I can confess. Uh... The boss wants to date him, right? You know what? We're, we're gonna do the good old hero thing during the torture. We're gonna provoke him. Come on, hit me, Blondie. <laughs> <He does. coughs> Tell me everything about your leader. Beg him. If you don't stop, you'll have to interrogate a corpse. Perhaps you aren't familiar with the concept of torture. Oh, Jesus. Who is your leader, and what is he planning? Think. Hmm. Hey, are you deaf? Oh my god, does this guy just like beat the shit out of me for everything? The leader's name is something like Crappy Rebel. Am I right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Am I like getting ready to pass out? Is that why I'm slouching forward here? Oh, my lie went up. 
Okay, I get like a third of the, the lie percentage every time I think, right? Is that how that works? Are you deaf? It's gonna punch me again. So, what's your leader's name? It's just a name. Don't hurt nobody but you. Yeah, look at that. So we just need to think one more time we're out of here. So why the fuck do we need to like beg or provoke or anything like that? Just sit here and think the whole time. Oh yeah, I'm fucked up. Who's your boss? Yeah, let's lie. Our leader is Brian Kernsmith, also known as the Empire Destroyer. Hmm, makes sense, doesn't it? I don't know. Next question. Alexander, stop. Look at look at what time it is. Almost the Holistic Baseball League. Gentlemen, you'll have to excuse us. I hope you enjoyed our first session. It's been nice serving. Thank you for your time. Ha! This is gonna be fun. Good night, fellas. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, so now I'm guessing we're going to have to break out of here. So, you think we've been through worse than this? We're alive, aren't we? For now, let's just focus on staying that way. Okay. Until when? I, I, I don't know. As, lo as long as we're still breathing, we still have a chance. Don't do or say anything stupid. We have to choose our words wisely. I don't care about giving up information about Xenolifer. But as soon as the lunatic knows everything he wants, we're dead. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Shut up and get some rest. The worst is yet to come. <clears throat> Alright, round two, I guess. Welcome back to another day of disturbingly pleasant Ivan <laughs> Irving and the Alexander show. As he lights up his cigarette. Nice. That was a nice touch. What's up, Alexander? Don't look at me like that. We already talked about the Alexander and Irving show. Doesn't sound as good. Also, I'm the one who does all the talking so far, and I think it's fair. Let's ask our guests. What do you think? I think that Alexander and his annoying friend would be a better title. Okay, you're gonna pay for that comment. Where are your headquarters? <clears throat> Let's think again. What are you, deaf? Ooh. Ooh! Oh, is that a hammer? Oh my god, he's taking out my fucking kneecaps. Jesus. I can't imagine where idiots like you would hide. <laughs> Let's think again. Oh my god, you see his leg? <laughs> the forest? An abandoned prison? Come on, tell me where you think you're all hiding. Oh shit, am I gonna die this next hit? Do I have to... Do, can I use Jack, too? I don't know. Let's try thinking again. Ooh. You'll have to sell your people out sooner or later. Tell me where they are, and you'll stop the suffering. Alright, fine. I can tell you now. Ha <laughs> ha! We hide in a deep cave located on the planet of Sinacitus. It's a hostile environment and keeps us safe from most governments. It doesn't make it. Or it makes sense, doesn't it? I don't know. Next question. What do you plan to do with the intel you stole from our database? Oh, shit. Uh, what happens if he thinks? Are you deaf? Oh, fuck. Okay, let's try begging. Because we're both fucked up. If you don't stop, you'll have to interrogate a corpse. Yeah. Oh my god, is this an- Oh, oh, there's blood dripping out of his mouth. Ah. Uh, I think you can use Jack, too. Yeah, yeah, I figured it out. Hey, Jaden, how's it going? Um, we're currently getting tortured right now, so that's, that's fun. Okay, okay, we have plenty of time. Take a breath. Wait. I forgot to get the ice cream out of the fridge. Goodbye, idiots. Come on, Alexander. Choke on it, asshole. <coughs> Okay, so we actually didn't tell him, like, shit in that session. Ugh. Pizza. Did you say something? I'm starving. You should try biting his fist next time. The meat is meat. Have you noticed you make a lot of jokes about cannibalism? Wasn't a joke. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah! We getting out, boys. 
How's Crab Mom? I don't know. I haven't checked back in on Crab Mom in a bit. Oh, she's doing good. Good to hear. Good to hear. Liam. Sorry I'm so late. 